I guess at least it's kind of motivational. Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back. I just got done seeing Night School, the new comedy with Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. And Rob Riggle is also in this and Taryn Killam from Saturday Night Live. And I don't know what else you were expecting from this besides it just being your standard Kevin Hart comedy. It is just basically that. It is pretty much, yeah. I, I'm like a little delirious right now. Don't even know what I'm trying to say. So going into this, I'll start with that. I watched the trailers. I thought they were kind of funny. I was excited for the cast. I enjoy Kevin Hart's movies in a very fun way. They're never like my absolute favorite movie of the year, but they're kind of fun. And I love Tiffany Haddish. I think she was the reason this movie really spoke to me because I want to see every movie she's in. She's always funny. She's never not funny. I I am a fan of Taryn Killam's from way back in... What movie was that? Big Fat Liar. Yes, he was in Big Fat Liar. I He was hilarious in that. I know it's kind of a stupid movie for me to be a fan of his in, but... I really enjoyed him on Saturday Night Live. I thought it was really funny, and I love his wife, Colby Smoters. If you don't know who she is, she was Robin and How I Met Your Mother. That really has nothing to do with the point, but I I liked the cast. The cast was pretty interesting, and the premise of it was kind of fun, but you know what's going to happen before you even watch the trailer. You can just say, it's a comedy with Kevin Hart called Night School, and you kind of know what's gonna happen. The trailers really tell you what's gonna happen. The trailers basically give you shot for shot of the movie. So going in, wasn't expecting much. And wasn't expecting much, wasn't really let down. So let's start with, oh wow, I can't even read some of my notes. My pen didn't even write. So that's going to be fun to try to Interpret. If you support me on Patreon, you can actually see my notes tomorrow, 24 hours from when this video goes live, you will be able to see my notes and you'll see just how big of a mess they really are. So good points for this movie. The cast, the cast is really great. I love Kevin, well, I wouldn't say I love Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is just Kevin Hart in this. I love Tiffany Haddish, Tiffany Haddish was Great, she really stole the show for me. Taryn Killam was okay. I feel like this probably wasn't his best performance. I don't know if I've really seen him in anything that's like super stand out. Most of the time he's just kind of the goofy guy. He was pretty good on Saturday Night Live. He did a movie for Amazon last year called Killing Gunther. I did a review of that if you want to check it out. It's up there. And Rob Riggle. I was very excited to see Rob Riggle in this movie. But I was kind of disappointed with how they utilized him. I think the parts that he was in were great, hilarious, he was really funny, but they just underutilized him. They didn't really give him time to shine in the way that I know he could. So that was a little bit disappointing. The rest of the supporting cast, the rest of the night school classmates were really great, really funny. There was, yeah, there, I don't know the, I don't remember any of their names. I don't know any of the actors' names, which is probably really bad, and I could look them up right now, but honestly, I can't really focus. I'm really tired. I've been pulling really late nights recently, working on a bunch of stuff for Patreon. I'm a little bit tired, if you can't tell. So those were the good parts, and now kind of just to sum everything up, because this kind of will cover a little bit of everything. The story is, like I said, kind of a typical Kevin Hart comedy, but it also is just a typical comedy because all of his comedies follow the same basic structure and storylines for pretty much any comedy ever. There is this protagonist, he's got everything going for him, and then something happens, and he gets in a little bit of a slump, but he figures out a way to pull himself back up, and then there's a couple more ups and downs until he hits a really, really low low, and then everything goes right back up. 
to the very top where he gets everything he ever wanted. I know that's kind of spoilers for this movie, but at the same time, I bet you knew it was coming. Bet you knew it all along that this was going to happen. So don't tell me I spoiled the movie for you because you probably knew what this movie was going to end up like. And you know what? Now that I am looking at my notes, honestly, I don't really have much else to say. So I think this may be a very, very short review. It's not even been 10 full minutes yet of me recording. And that's with me looking at my notes and trying to figure out what I'm writing. So this is going to be less than 10 minutes long. There's not really much to talk about in this movie. I guess you could say that they do have some really cool graphic work in certain parts and they don't utilize it as much as they probably could. Like whenever Kevin Hart's character is taking a test, the whatever's on the page or on the computer screen kind of comes out and it, it does this little cool thing that, that looks kind of cool. And then they do maybe twice these little text message bubbles that pop up and that's about it. And then one time when he's on a Skype call with Ben Schwartz, his character, which by the way, I do like, I love Ben Schwartz and he's also underutilized in this as well because he's pretty funny and they don't use him as much as they probably should. But when they are talking, Kevin Hart and Ben Schwartz's character are like Skyping or something and he's looking at job postings. You see a little thing in this in the corner of the screen and it looks kind of cool but at the same time it's just like okay nothing really new or innovative. It's in pretty much every single rom-com or every single comedy. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place. This is I, yeah, that's how kind of, the movie didn't feel like this, this is just my mind state right now, so I'm sorry, please bear with me. I don't really know much else to say about this movie other than give you guys my rating. My rewatch score for this would probably be, it's not like a terrible movie, but it's not like the best movie ever. Like I feel like with pretty much every single Kevin Hart comedy, I would probably give this a Netflix. If there was no other comedies on or I'd watch every single other comedy and this was on there, maybe I'd give it another watch. But it's not something I would just leap at the chance to watch again. So that being said, those are my thoughts. If you can piece them together, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have seen Night School, let me know your thoughts. I would love to know if anybody enjoyed this more than I did. I mean, I had a good time, but if anybody really, really had a great time, really loved it, let me know. Or if you just really hated it, let me know that in the comments down below too. I would love to know. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, truly do appreciate every single one of you. Let me know who you are in the comments down below and let's be friends. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you're new because I love talking all things movies, TV shows, filmmaking, film history, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time when I am probably a little bit more awake. Bye.